The warehouse district. For months I've been following a trail of clues, and the trail ended here. That's right, Lion. I've almost got you. I've got a folder of documents that prove all of your crimes. I just need to get into that warehouse and see what you've been up to. Those are too large for me to lift. Makes more sense to use the small. A crowbar. Used by the law abiding. I'll just take it. You never know. All right. Let's see what's in there. Poppy gas. The oldest trick in the book. If I was awake, I might have felt ashamed. Oh. Huh? Don't panic, Petra. You've been in worse scrapes. Let's see, what should I do? No good. I'm not strong enough to pull myself up. I pride myself on being an independent gal, and I really hate to do this. But when push comes to shove, I don't want to die. Hello? Anybody out there? I could use a little help. Anyone? Help! So, you're awake at last. You're lucky I'm feeling generous, or I'd charge you for my time. Lion! Guilty as charged. Guilty is right! I've got enough evidence to put you away for life! Oh my, that is a problem. And I am good at solving problems. I wonder... How should I solve this one? You call yourself a lawyer? No. I call myself the best lawyer. And I intend to stay that way. in that warehouse. Warehouse? What warehouse? Don't 
play coy with me. You know what warehouse. Do you mean that warehouse that burned to the ground no less than 20 minutes ago? What? A freak accident. Quite sudden. I'm afraid that nobody will know what was in that warehouse now. Ha! You fell right into my trap! Someone will fall into something, but I don't think it will be me. Enough talk! You wouldn't believe the amount of evidence I've got against you. You mean the evidence that was in your coat pocket? What? Hey! Where did it go? <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> it's quite secure, I assure you. Anyway, I wish I could stay in chat, but I must be off. Do give my regards to the ground. Something about that lion makes my blood boil. One day I'm gonna nail that guy. I'm gonna collect enough evidence and make it stick. Of course, until then, I have other things to worry about. Hey, watch it, lady. I'm flying here. Saved by the Gump Transit System. How embarrassing. Yeah, sorry. You available? Yeah, the meter's running. Where do you want to go? Just take me home. Plumley Street. All right, hold on. Stupid lion. That's the fifth time he's nearly killed me. I'll get him one day. Who am I kidding? Do the bad guys ever get punished these days? I even lost my journal chasing that lion around the city. How can I be a detective without a proper journal? Hmm, that reminds me. I think I have a spare journal in my file cabinet. I should take a look and see. It is locked.
My file cabinet key. I'll just take this. The file cabinet is locked. I have the key. My spare notebook should be in here. I'll just take a look. If I uncover anything interesting or worthwhile, I'll write it down. It saves me from needing to remember every word people say. Good thing I had a spare. I always feel lost without my journal. You hear that, Emerald City? I'm packing a new notebook and I'm not afraid to use it. A knock. Hey, Lion! If that's you, I suggest you beat it! I beg your pardon? Uh, never mind. I'll be right there. Come on in. Thank you. You're Petra. That's what it says on the door. What can I do for you, Miss... D. You can call me D. All right, D. What brings you downtown? I'm looking for someone. His name is Ansel, my fiance. Ansel, huh? And how long's he been missing? I haven't seen him for several months. He likes to travel. Go on. Well, I heard that he got back two nights ago, but I haven't seen him. Nobody has seen him. He just vanished. So, who told you he was back? Nobody. I have a magic device that keeps tabs on him. A magic device? Those are illegal. I have a magic license. I'm not breaking any law. What did this magical device say? He was visiting Gillikin country before entering the city. Aside from that, nothing. I have to know what happened to him. Can you help me? A missing fiancé? Sounds like a case of cold feet to me. Still, a case is a case. Next month's rent is due soon and I could use the emeralds. I'll give you an advance of 200 emeralds. 500 more when you find him. 700 emeralds? Scratch next month's rent, that would cover me till summer. Looks like you got yourself a detective, Dee. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Here's a picture of him. Where can I contact you if I find anything? Oh, I'll contact you. I'll be watching. If I need to speak to you, you'll hear from me. Great. I not only have a client, but a guardian angel, too. What's her angle? The warning signs whirl around me like a tornado, but the money is too good to pass up.
Wait a minute. Tornado. I wonder. Just one more question, Miss Gale. Yes? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, very clever. You might just solve this after all. I knew it. Dorothy Gale, the bright-eyed little girl who blew her way into Oz over 40 years ago. What is she doing here? Isn't she an honorary princess? Why does she need my help when she could just ask Queen Ozma to wave her magic wand? Still, I can't argue with a princess. And I certainly can't argue with the 200 emeralds in my purse. I guess I'd better get going. Ansel was in Gillikin country. That means he came through the North Gate. That's probably where I should start. Of all the soldiers to be on duty, TikTok is the second to last one I want to see. Still, beggars can't be choosers. TikTok, it's been years. Petra, what is your business here? Charming as ever. I have some questions for you. That is your privilege. I'm looking for a man named Ansel. He was last reported coming through this gate two nights ago. You are mistaken. No one named Ansel came through this gate two nights ago or ever. You're sure? Affirmative. My memory is infallible. Were you on duty two nights ago? Negative. I was on duty in the palace. Then how do you know for certain who came through the gate? I have memorized the records. Nobody named Ansel came through here. Could he have used a false name? Using a false name is a felony. But could he have done it? It is within the parameters of possibility. How can we find out for sure? If you have a photograph of the man, I can cross-reference him with the name he gave. This is a photograph of Ansel. Do you recognize him? Affirmative. He did not use the name Ansel when he entered the city. He will have to report back to me and tell the truth in order to avoid prosecution. Maybe I can tell him for you. What was his destination? 
His destination was registered as 43 Granetta Lane, Emerald City. The residence of Miss Betsy Bobbins. Thanks a mil, TikTok. Only doing my duty. Granetta Lane is one of the nicer streets in the Emerald City. At least they clean it once in a while, which is more than you can say for my neighborhood. Hey. Hey, does Betsy Bobbins live here? Who wants to know? I just have some questions for her. You got questions? You ask me. Nobody gets in to see the missus without my say-so. Who is she? If you don't know, then why are you bugging her? Her name came up in an investigation I'm working on. Investigation? What does the guard want with Betsy? I'm not with the guard, I'm freelance. Look, Betsy don't get mixed up with stuff like that. So you say. I have to find out for myself. I need to get inside. Well, tough. I only let Betsy's boyfriends get past this door. Well, them and deliveries. Deliveries? Men send her presents. Flowers, jewelry, clothes, what have you. She doesn't always take them in, but she takes the presents. Hello again. Mm -hmm. I want to know more about Betsy. That's Miss Bobbins to you. What do you want to know? What does she do? Does she have a job or anything? Betsy? No. She don't work. She's a lady. So what does she do all day? She entertains. She travels. She travels, huh? Didn't Dee say that Ansel spent a lot of time traveling? Where does Betsy travel? Oh, everywhere. Real cultured Betsy is. Everywhere? Well, not everywhere. The winky air is too thin for her. She don't travel there. And Gillikin country is too dangerous. But she particularly likes Munchkin country in the spring. Really? And Quadlin country in the summer. How can I get in to see her? You don't. Unless you have something she wants, which I see you don't. Let's talk about something else. Do you know a man named Ansel? Never heard of him. I have proof that he came here. Well, I ain't seen him. I think his ears just twitched. Is he lying? Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Could you look at the photograph before answering? I said I ain't seen it. Are you sure? Lots of men come to see Betsy. I can't keep track of them all. So this man could have come here? I didn't say that. What other men have come to see Betsy? Hey, that's private business. I ain't gonna start blabbing. Would say 20 emeralds ease your guilt? Nice try, sister. I've been with Betsy since forever. I ain't betraying her. Loyalty. A rare trait in this city. Let's change the subject. Let's talk about you. Me? What do you want to know? So, who are you? I'm Hank. And you're a mule. You don't miss a trick. Sure, I'm a mule. You gonna stop asking stupid questions, or do you want a swift kick in the stomach? Me? No, no. Hmm, too bad. Why does Betsy need a guard? To stop people like you from harassing her. Men calling on her day in and day out. Poor girl just wants some peace. So, she's popular? But you could say that. I need to get inside. Well, I only let Ben well, deliver. Vincent Cloud, she does. 
Never mind. Thanks for your time. Mm-hmm. A man in a white suit is leaning against my office building. There's something very strange about him. Can't quite put my finger on it. Evening. Evening, Petra. You know my name? Of course. How? Do I know you? Know me? I hope not. For knowledge kills the sense of wonder and mystery, does it not? Great. A nut, and right outside of my office, too. Sure, whatever you say. Who are you? A man who is not fully a man. A frightener of birds who have done nothing wrong. My head once was weighed down by leadership, but now rests easy on this street corner. There's nothing easy about you, mister. A straight answer, please. Who are you? Your eye sees only what your mind is prepared to comprehend. You know what? Forget it. I don't care who you are. Do you have any more of your enigmatic wisdom to share? I am often amazed at the color scheme of our kingdom, aren't you? Each country is notable for its unique color. How delightful. I often travel to the Winky Country to visit an old friend. When I return, I bring back something yellow to remind me of the journey. Anything interesting in the paper? Before I read it, I was uninformed. Now, I am merely misinformed. Which do you think is better? I think you're crazy. Madness is often logic overtaxed. You're overtaxed, all right. Can you go somewhere else? We are all travelers in the wilderness of this world. Great. Travel away from here. You're scaring away potential customers. If it was worth doing, it would have been done already. See you around.